Hey everybody, so for today's video, I'm gonna be making one of my absolute favorite dishes. It's Italian spaghetti bolognese. And it's something my sister's been asking me about quite often, um, especially because she has work, she doesn't have time to cook for the whole week. So this meal is perfect, because all you have to do is chuck a bunch of things into a pan and then later into a slow cooker, and then just turn it on and then let it cook. Uh, I let mine cook for two days, because that's how long it took to get to the right consistency. Uh, but then again, I was cooking for the whole week. So if you were to minimize the recipe, it will cook for less time. Uh, if you were to add more ingredients um, and expand, uh, the recipe then it would take longer to cook uh, but I think this is a great dish especially because I've taken it to the whole new level um, I've actually taken a page out of Heston Blumenthal's book um, and his YouTube channel if you have watched that uh, and where he says that star anise enhances the meaty flavors which is why I added a couple of them um, on top of that I I kind of did an experiment where I contrasted the the flavor between browned meat and then meat that's not been browned um, and I think it there really isn't a difference, which I know will probably infuriate Gordon Ramsay. Um, but I think it makes for a great dish, so if you don't have time to brown it, which I highly recommend you do, uh, but if you don't, there's actually no harm because it tastes amazing. These are the ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe. Start by taking your onions and then cooking them until translucent in your pan. I tried to do this in the slow cooker, but it wasn't hot enough, so then I switched into the pan. I added some oregano, gave it a nice mix, and then basically once it was done and nice and translucent, I added it back to the slow cooker. Then I went ahead and added the garlic, gave it a nice mix, cooked it until it was nice and fragrant and then added that to, to the slow cooker. Uh, and next up was the carrots. Gave those the same treatment until I added it into the slow cooker. And then I added the star anise. Initially I added, added just about two, uh, added some olive oil, gave them a nice mix. Uh, when they were about th this sort of color, uh, I went ahead and then added that into the slow cooker, gave everything a good mix uh, and then I went ahead and added the meat into it. Uh, I added the beef here, here you can see it's actually brown because it's oxidized, um, it's actually a pretty good meat uh, and then I once I did that I added the pork into the pan, uh, gave it a nice mix, make sure that it was nice and browned uh, and this is what you you can do if your meat sticks to your pan or if it doesn't break through uh, you can just use a whisk like I did because I feel like that's the best way to get the individual strands of meat once everything's brown like this and my reaction is staying in place you can go ahead and add it here give it a good mix uh, and then add your tomato puree or your tomato paste into the pan once you do that add a little bit of oil cook it out so that all the sourness comes out of it and then you get this amazing tomato flavor into your sauce and then add your tomato passata or your tomato sauce uh, this can be in one of those generic bottles that you get at the supermarket and then fill the same bottle uh, once empty with your beef or wedge stock and then add that in add your wine and your milk give everything a good mix and then make sure that you don't want to season now uh, because i feel like it's better to season at the end but you can go ahead and add some more star anise give everything good a mix before you nicely cover it up and then you want to cook it on a slow cooker uh, for as long as it takes to get to this consistency or if you're doing it on a stove then just make sure that you keep mixing it every few minutes and that you cook it on slow once it's at this consistency then you can go ahead and uh, i chose to actually refrigerate it uh, because it was for the week uh, but then for the purpose of this video i went ahead and cooked some pasta in boiling salted water i added the pasta and once it was done cooking I added the bolognese mix into a pan with some olive oil, uh, added some of the pasta water that was there. Uh, so this is going to basically break down the sauce uh, but then also um, thicken it once the pasta is in it. Uh, add some pepper, add some salt, add some parmesan if you need to. I chose to also add some really good olive oil, uh, give everything a good mix, brought it to a boil and then, then I decided to go ahead and put the cooked pasta. It's cooked al dente so it had a little bit of a bite to it. Uh, I went ahead and mixed everything in and once it was done I decided to plate up uh, and as a treat I decided to add some black truffle oil just because I thought it would really make it uh, make the difference and make it taste really really nice uh, and just take it over the top uh, I garnished it with some basil you can do the same and it's gonna be amazing so it's time for another segment of great comments uh, and I actually got a bunch of comments on the last video um, one of them was really really weird and um, 
because I want this to be like fine for children as well. I'm not gonna put it, but it's really weird and I hope people don't like if you go check the, the, the vegetable fried rice recipe, which you should watch if you haven't watched, uh, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Um, but it's it's really a weird comment and I'm not gonna mention it and yeah. No, 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 no wait, wait, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Um, but I do have a great comment and this one's actually a great comment. It's not something that's self depreciating um, It's by one of my favorite professors and um, She actually uh, sent me an email um, I'm not gonna mention her name because I haven't asked her permission to uh, To include her name in this especially because it's like an email and I don't know like if it's cool or stuff um, But I I'm just gonna read it out and I, th I this one was just an insanely uh, amazing like email I got so she said in many ways this university is too easy for you your degree and qualities of insight there are some ways that this university is useful for you in particular keep it up and I just think it's amazing because um, I've worked she's one of my favorite professors and I've worked quite hard on um, making sure that I do the readings and um, you know hard work and um, you know repetition just keep working and I just think it's amazing. Like this is my reaction when I when I read that, and it's legit. It's like legit my reaction. But yeah, so um, I think her class has really inspired me, and I'm very fortunate to be taught by um, a professor like her. And hopefully, um, I continue to get taught by her. So hopefully, she has more classes. And uh, so Seattle, you please give this professor um, tenure if possible. And a great pay, a great social contract, a great contract, and just a great social contract. Um, making sure that I do the readings and, um, you know, hard work and, um, LIAR! Um, I think, really think she's one of the best professors at Seattle University. Uh, but on to the next segment, we actually eat the food, um, and this is one of my favorite parts, especially because I love spaghetti bolognese and um, this is a gluten-free version so more people can eat it. I'm gonna dig in. The sauce is perfect. You do get a little bit of that truffle flavor coming in from the truffle oil that drizzled around. Um, the pepper adds a nice contrast. Now, I really think it actually enhances the whole dish. Um, the parmesan cheese adds a bit of saltiness which is what you need in this kind of dish. The carrots add a bit of sweetness basil some freshness I highly recommend that you give this recipe a go if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos made by me go to the subscription box and click on it you'll see all of my videos are all already there see you next time if you want to support our work then all you got to do is go and click on this link right here it'll take you to our coffee page and basically you can support our work uh, and if you do I will make sure that your name goes at the end of the video